Good morning, everyone. This is the vlog that we never thought would come. Today is Tuesday, March, or whoa, Tuesday, May, either 26th or 27th. And today actually marks 10 weeks since I have worked in the salon. But today, the day has finally come. We are reopening the salon today. It is open as we speak. I only work um, the early shift on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So today I do go in at 12. I'm probably gonna go in at like 11.30 because I have my hand sanitizers here and my barbicide wipes and things like that because yesterday we had a salon meeting and um, I actually had to go straight there from being out on the boat with David and um, his mom and stepdad. So I didn't have time to stop here first and pick that stuff up. So I'm gonna go in a little early to um, put those things away in my station and just brace myself. But we are going back to work today, you guys. Um, I'm not nervous. I've been more anxious than anything. I've been waking up early lately, you guys, ever since we got the new boat and everything. And I've been going out um, early in the morning, like fishing and stuff. And then this morning I woke up about an hour and a half before my alarm went off and I'm just getting up earlier. So I think I've just had a lot on my mind, you know. And um, my baby girl doesn't know what's coming for her today because mama's going back to work and she's going to have to stay in her crate. But what works out is, like I was telling you guys, I normally go in at 12 minus two days a week. So for the most part, I go in at 12. David's here on his break around three. So she's only in her crate for like three hours. Then she goes back in her crate. I get off around 6, 6.30 and then I'm back home. So she's really only in her crate in um, like three-ish hour increments. So it's not too bad, but baby girl's gonna miss her mama. It's just weird because I haven't worked in two and a half months and you know, everybody's used to me being home. She's being so loving. Yes, I am a bit sunburnt, just my face and neck. Everything else is like getting good and tan, but I was in the sun a lot this past Memorial Day weekend. We were on the boat like all day Sunday and for mm, the morning, early afternoon of yesterday, um, fishing, catching sun, riding around. My face feels so dry. It feels like it's going to crack. I put so much moisturizer on. I've been using like my, um, my, is it green tea and aloe, like Maria spray? Y'all, my face feels so dry, but I'm not too concerned about this part of my face today because stylists are required to wear masks in the salon. So I will be wearing a mask now every day at work, which is gonna be really weird for me because I haven't been wearing a mask this whole time. And now I do have to wear one while working in the salon. I've been pretty anxious about going back to work. Like I'm excited, but it's also been so long that I'm like, I just have this feeling in my chest that's so nervy. And honestly, I'm just so ready to get there today because I know as soon as I get there and get with my first client, like that feeling is going to go away. I have a haircut and brow wax, then I have a coloring cut, and then I have another cut. So it's kind of like an easy day back, whereas the rest of the week I have like back to back full highlights and balayages and just stuff like that. So today is kind of a good day to ease back into it worn makeup maybe five times in the past two and a half months so I kind of want to do like a light golden eye like like some light warm colors in the crease with a gold shadow on the lid nothing too crazy and then a lash going back to work is so weird like I've been so ready to go back to work this whole time but now that it's finally happened I'm like oh, like this is crazy all right, you guys, we are getting closer and closer to going into work. My lashes are a little wonky. This is pretty much the makeup of the day. I did not do a lot down here because of my sunburn, and it's going to be covered, um, you know, with a mask. So I mainly focused everything up here. But this is my first day back face. You know, of course, not featuring the mask yet. But I think I'm about to make a smoothie. See if Eloise needs to go potty. I'm sure she doesn't, but just in case, um, I'm going to make a smoothie and then get all my things together and 
go to work. Right, so first day back in the salon down. I just thought I would, why is my lighting? I think I need to clean my lens. Just thought I would hop on here really quickly and update you guys before heading home. It was a really good first day back. Honestly, it felt really weird. I was like, wait, like when blow drying and then I turned the cold water on instead of the hot water and just like little things. Cause we have only been in our new salon location for a month before we had to close down cause of the virus and everything. So it was like so weird trying to get readjusted, but I feel so much better after like finally being there because ever since, well, the past few days, I've just had like this feeling like weighing on me until I finally got back in there and got to like do the thing. It was a really good first day back. I don't want to say it was an easy day because I was booked solid. I had two haircuts, a brow wax, a cut and color, just, I mean, I was booked, but it wasn't crazy stuff. Like later this week, I have back to back full highlights. Tomorrow I have a balayage and then I think I have a color, just like um, more lengthy services and like more detailed services later this week. Um, it's gonna get pretty crazy, but my first day back was a good way to get my feet wet and ease into it, but I'm starving, I'm rolling out, I'm gonna go home and get some dinner cooking, and I'll talk to you guys later. Are y'all happy? Are y'all happy? They said mama's home. Y'all, I just feel so happy right now. Like, I know there's gonna be days coming up where work is stressful and this and that. We all have those days. But right now, in this moment, I just feel so happy. Like, it's just, things will never be like normal again. But as we've been going through these phases and more things are opening up and life is starting to go back to what it was before, it just makes me so happy. Like yesterday, um, after David and I got back from being on the boat, I had a meeting at the salon and then I came back here and changed and we went to um, a store called Eastern Outfitters, which is like a fishing gear store, but they also sell clothes and shoes that are just like, you know, like sporty, beachy brands. It's an awesome store. And like, I didn't even think anything of it, but I, when I was in there, I was like, wow, like I haven't been like in a shopping store. Like I've been to the grocery store, yeah. But all those stores have been closed until like last week and I just didn't even realize it. Like it, it was like so exciting being there, but it also felt so normal, even though at the same time it's been like three months or well, maybe like two months for that case. They haven't been closed as long as salons. It just felt so normal at the same time as if no time ever even passed. Same with like work today. It was just... It's so weird and like surreal and I can't describe it. Some nights I do work late and I get home and I'm literally beat and I'm mad because I still have to cook dinner and all I want to do is just sit down and eat and just, you know how it is. But like today, like first day back, I'm like, this feels so good. And I'm just so much more motivated now for the rest of the week because I've been so anxious about today that now that it's behind me, I'm like, okay, I got this. I've been so excited to use my new Pyrex, but I think I need to use my middle size for my meatloaf. I am, um, I'm about to make meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn, and I'm excited, and I'm starving. Oh, and you guys know, or may, you may not know, it literally rained, like, oh, what does she have? Eloise. It literally rained every day last week, pretty much, and... Our yard didn't get a break from the rain because it was literally raining every day or every night that our yard has just stayed soggy and stayed so wet. Well, it's finally pretty much mostly dry. So today on David's break, he told me that he had mowed the yard and I came home. The yard looks so good, y'all. It was getting a little out of hand. All right, so this is day two of being back in the salon since reopening. Today, you guys, was a day. So I look a mess, one less client than yesterday, but that's because today's clients were bigger services. So I've told you guys before, um, Wednesdays and Saturdays are my short days. My first client, she has like shoulder length hair. 
um, but it's super, super, super thick. And so it was time for us to do a balayage refresh on her. So we freshened up her balayage. Her hair had grown out probably close to two inches. It had grown a lot. So we had to cut a couple of inches off of it to get it back to shoulder length, a lengthy service. And my client after that, but I'm about to cook a chicken breast in the Instapot. And then I'm going to make um, chicken casserole, which I love chicken casserole. It's one of my sister's favorite dinners um, that mom would make, but I've never made it. So I'm pretty excited. Hopefully it turns out as yummy as hers. But my second client today, um, she had regrowth. So her grays were coming through. She was supposed to have come in the day after we closed. So like my last day ended up being March 17th. Her appointment was literally for March 18th. Couldn't have been worse timing. So she was like really, really needing to get in because seeing how that's when she was supposed to have come, she had already waited, you know, weeks before that to get to that appointment. So she had gray regrowth and her ends had faded. So we did her root color. We refreshed her ends. We did a pretty big chop on her. Her hair had gotten pretty long and we took it to like just past shoulder length and we added a lot of layers. So that is what today at work consisted of. And I ended up working later. I ended up finishing around 3.30 and then I still had to clean up and everything. I'm home now, I'm about to get started on dinner. While dinner cooks, I'm going to fold the laundry that I washed and dried last night pretty late. And I'm gonna wash the dishes. I'm gonna try to be really, really productive while dinner cooks. So after dinner, I can sit down and relax. All right, so I am headed into day three of being back in the salon. I just finished up getting ready. I'm actually going to drop by the restaurant first to drop David off a banana because he forgot it um, on his way into work today and I have time so I'm going to drop that by for him to eat this morning. But I'm about to head on into work. Today is, is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Um, my first client today is a full highlight guys i am so pooped i always do this whenever i get home from work i take the dogs out and then i sit down for a second and i'm like ah oh, this feels so good then i don't want to get back up but just got home from work a little bit ago i actually was able to get off a little early but y'all today was a day my first client with the full highlight and haircut and everything that was a job she has so much hair she's one of my regulars one of my favorite clients but she has a lot of hair and today we did a full not a partial gave her a really good cut and it took a hot minute and then um i had a haircut after that and then a brow wax after that but i am just pooped you know i got up at like around four this morning had to use the bathroom and then i swear i stayed up since i just couldn't fall back asleep like i kept checking the clock to see what time it was and um over the weekend david and i had talked about taking the boat out like maybe this morning or friday morning but then um the weather forecast for the week was showing rain every day and we were like okay you know we won't be able to take it out and then last night i kept checking it like i didn't tell david that i continued to check the weather because i kind of wanted to do it as like a surprise so I kept checking the weather last night and the percentage for this morning kept dropping and kept dropping. And then when I got up at like four in the morning to go use the bathroom, I checked the weather forecast again, like the hourly. And it had dropped like to, to zero, like to no rain pretty much. And so then I was so excited and then maybe my mind started going, I don't know. I just haven't been sleeping too good lately. I don't know if I've had a lot on my mind or just whatever, but I do want to go to the store and get some more melatonin because when I did take melatonin, it really helped. I just came straight home today from work. I should have stopped, but I didn't, but um, maybe that would help me. But then, so I turned off my regular alarm that I had set just in case I overslept for work. I turned it off. This was all going on at four in the morning. And I set an alarm for 7 a.m. So then when 7 a.m. finally rolled around, I got David up. I was like, you want to go fishing? And so we left the house like by 7.30. We were at the dock that we went to by like 7.45 in the water. We spent like an hour and a half out there. And then we had to get back 
Wow. I'll see what I see right now. <laughs> But so we had like maybe an hour and a half out there in all before we had to get back because David has to be at work by 10. So we were back here by like 945. It was a quick like boat fishing um, morning. But now that we have the new boat, it goes like double the speed as our um, little John boat. So we can get to where we're going faster. So we have more time to fish. So it just made our time more productive. But it was just really nice getting out there this morning, spending some time with David you know, outside of the weekend. I'm going to cook some Cajun pasta in the Instapot with some zucchini on the stove. And then I need to do the pig's cage. I need to wash my hair. I need to cut David's hair, but it depends what time he gets home tonight because I'm pooped. Like last night I was prepared to cut his hair, but then he didn't come straight home. Then he got home late and I didn't end up cutting it last night. And tonight, um, I don't know though, we will see. I need to get up, I need to get dinner going, I need to get my cleaning done so I can sit back down and stay down.